It was late afternoon. We had been on the road for ten hours. According to plan, we stopped to gas up. It should have been a routine fuel stop, in and out. I put my card in the pump and it said, See cashier. I went inside and a nice lady fiddled with the buttons on her register. She said, Try it now. The pump still didn't work. I went back inside and the lady came out to inspect the pump. More fiddling with buttons. Okay, try it now. Still nothing. This went on for a while. Eventually I decided I had nothing to lose so I stuck the nozzle in the tank to see what would happen. And surprise, gas came out. The message on the pump still said it wasn't ready. Go figure. At this point I didn't care why it worked, just that it did. I filled my tank confident the snafu was behind me. Then I tried to close my gas cap. It wouldn't latch. I tried it again. No luck. The two guys I was riding with both both tried. It wouldn't latch for them either. We still had 70 miles to go. What to do? It seemed a silly thing to have to get a tow truck for. A tow would be a major hassle. Maybe I could just put duct tape over it, keep it from flapping open. Would the engine even start with the gas cap unlocked? The kickstand had an interlock. Maybe this had one, too. I went in to pay for the gas. When I came out, one of my friends had gotten the thing to latch. I asked him what was the trick. He had no idea, but he shrugged. I fucked with it. Sounds right. I think I remember reading that in the owner's manual someplace. It was no time to have a conference. Night was coming. We needed to run the last 70 miles. Part of that would be on I-40, headed east. At least we wouldn't be riding into the sunset, literally. I've heard it said many times that interstates are one of the safest places for motorcycles. Traffic directions are divided, the lanes are wide, speed is constant, no intersections, no driveways. Of course, at high speeds, objects in the road are more dangerous. I remember a long time ago while riding a, a motorcycle on the 118 freeway in L.A. having to swerve around the mattress in the fast lane. The good old days. After getting delayed at that gas station, it was good to be back on the road. It was also tempting to get frustrated how we lost time over little things we never expected. When I was younger, that kind of frustration would be a bigger deal than it is now. Now when things like that happen, little obstacles get in my way. I've learned not to take it so, so negatively. You never know why it might be a good thing to get delayed. It's strange, even spooky, the way it works sometimes. If that snafu with the pump and the gas cap hadn't happened, if we had been on time, we might have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. And something even worse could have happened. The angels work in mysterious ways, I guess. It's best not to second-guess them. That's the safest way to ride.